What's going on? This is David Whitney with Alpha Hawk Fitness. All right, today I want to talk about sugar. Because, you know, when it comes to dieting, and people like, someone says, I want to lose weight. What's the first thing you hear somebody say? Oh, stop eating sugar. You got to eat healthy. Cut, cut out all sugars. So it seems like sugar is like public enemy number one in the uh, weight loss world. So I just want to get to the, um, the facts and the truth of the whole thing. Is there something inherently wrong with sugar inherently bad about sugar that when you compare it calorie for calorie with another food that it will make us fatter than another food like let's just say if you have 200 calories of a sweet potato and you have 200 calories of pixie sticks is the pixie sticks is going to make you fatter than the sweet potato would no it's 200 calories either way that's like saying is a pound of gold heavier than a pound of feathers no it's ridiculous we all know that a pound is a pound. 200 calories is 200 calories. Now, there are reasons why you might not want to eat nothing but pixie sticks all day. But it's not because... I mean, all right, first of all, let's look at this. If you burn 2,000 2, calories a day, if you eat 1,500 calories a day in so-called health foods and you eat 1,500 calories a day in pure pixie sticks, you're going to lose the same amount of weight. Your body's not going to operate the same way, though, because... You're not going to get the macronutrients and the micronutrients for your body to operate optimally through eating nothing but pixie sticks. So you got to make sure you're eating a balanced diet, you're getting proper nutrition for your body to operate optimally. But after you get in your vitamins, your minerals, your fiber, your protein, there's still going to be a lot of room left over for you to choose from other foods. Now this is where you don't have to choose nothing but health foods because if you're in a caloric deficit, you're going to burn off what you're eating anyway. Let me explain to you like myself for example, for instance. I eat 3,000 calories a day and I still lose weight. I lose about a pound a week. I'm in like a 500 calorie a day caloric deficit eating 3,000 calories a day. My maintenance calories where I can maintain my weight is around 3,500 calories a day. So if I eat 3,000 calories a day, I lose around a pound a week. Now, I make sure that I get around five servings of fruits and vegetables a day so that I'm getting my micronutrients that I need, my fiber that I need. I make sure that I get at least 0.7 grams of protein per pound of body weight so i'm making sure i'm getting enough protein that my body needs to um, re, um build muscle and to preserve the muscle that i have but i can do all of that with around a thousand calories so that leaves me about two thousand calories to have what i want to choose other foods that is my discretion to choose what i want i'm already giving my body the food that it needs so is it going to make a difference on my appearance or on my well-being if I choose to have my other 2,000 calories in health foods or if I eat them in pixie sticks? You think you're like, of course, right? You can't eat nothing but pixie sticks or McDonald's or whatever else and be healthy. Wrong. I'm already giving my body everything it needs to be healthy. I'm getting my five servings of fruits and vegetables. I'm getting my fiber and I'm getting my protein and I'm getting my healthy fats. My body has everything it needs to operate optimally. After that, whatever else I put in, I'm going to be burning off anyway because I'm in a caloric deficit. It's just fuel that I'm going to use throughout the day. So it doesn't matter. It's not going to make me any, it's not going to make my body retain any more fat. If you're eating in a caloric deficit, you're burning off the calories. You're not holding on to them. It can't store something that you don't have. It doesn't matter if you're eating sugar because you're burning it off. It's not there for your body to store it. But there's a reason why I don't eat a thousand calories of what my body needs and then 2000 calories of sugar. I don't do that. And it's not because it wouldn't be healthy. It's because it wouldn't be satiating. It wouldn't fill me up. 2000 calories of sugar plus a thousand calories of regular food. I'm still going to be hungry at the end of the day. So I got to make decisions. I got to use my discretion to make decisions where I'm going to eat stuff that's going to fill me up. But at the same time, I'm going to enjoy myself. So I'll pick foods that are filling, that are satiating, that are going to leave me feeling full. And then after that, when I know I got enough of that in, then I'm going to enjoy myself and find some snacks that I like to enjoy. And since I'm not dead stuck on hitting 3,000 calories exactly a day, I don't force myself to get there. If I get to 2,400 calories, 2,100 calories, excuse me. And that's all I feel like eating for the day, then that's all I eat for the day. Maybe the next day I'll eat more. And that way, the next day, if I go, go a little over my calories, it's not a big deal. So anyways, I just hope you guys understand this. Some people think, oh, well, the insulin response 
um, from sugar is going to cause you to store it. You can't store what's not there. If you're in a caloric deficit, you're burning those calories. And yes, insulin will cause your body to store things, but if it's sugar and you're in a deficit, you're going to store those carbs as glycogen. You're going to replenish your glycogen stores. And insulin um, levels rising are also going to cause you, the partitioning is also going to be for protein also to go into your muscles too. It's also going to help you build muscles. So it all really comes down to being in a caloric deficit. Then also, you got to make sure you're giving your body the nutrients that it needs. A healthy balanced diet but after that you don't have to be one of these clean eaters where everything's got to be clean or everything's got to be what our ancestors ate or my goodness well i seen a video the other day and the guy brought up a good point he's like oh humans are the only ones that um eat drink the milk of another species and the guy in response said yeah humans are also the only ones that drive cars should we stop doing that too <laughs> you know come on stop being crazy with this stuff but listen it's pure math it's simple if you're in a caloric deficit, you're going to burn off the calories, whether they're sugar or sweet potatoes. It just doesn't matter. Just make sure you're giving your body all the micronutrients that it needs, all the macronutrients it needs. Get the healthy fats, get the protein you need. And then after that, just find a way to enjoy yourself and make sure you're full at the end of the day so your diet is enjoyable. All right. You know what? I hope this has been easy to follow. I hope this makes sense. I bet a lot of people are not going to like this. A lot of people are going to be like, no way. That just can't be true. It's too good to be true. But it's really the way it works, guys. Look into it and see, see it for yourself. And it works. I've seen it work with me. I've seen it work with a million people. It's called flexible dieting. It's the only way to do it. The best way to do it. Any other way is almost torture. All right, guys. Check out my past, view, past videos. Stay tuned for future videos. I got a bunch of them coming up. If you got any questions, I'm sure a lot of people might be might have taken what I said the wrong way. So if you got any questions, comment below and I'll be glad to explain it, to clarify myself. All right, until next time.